Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 5th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to another video for Morning Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun as we have that coronal hole wind stream that is affecting us right now. It has increased our solar wind speeds to over 600 kilometers per second. And things have definitely kicked up on our planet from these wind streams as well. We now have six, almost seven tropical storms across our planet right now. Just looking at some small fiery regions sparking up here on the left side there with a coronal hole below. Looking here at our real-time solar wind Right now it's 646 kilometers per second, but it did jump up to 700 kilometers per second. 703 was the max. So we were expecting this and it is now ramping things up as well with our weather. Let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24, 48 hours as I did not upload yesterday and we're still watching a small uptick in seismicity through Alaska. The Philippines yesterday, large earthquakes. And as well, those three capsized uh, boats in the Philippines from the typhoons that are ripping through there right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking at largest earthquakes here. Let's go the last 48 hours. Again, I apologize. I didn't upload yesterday. Needed a day off. But yesterday we did have a large 6.3 earthquake in Nami, Japan, early yesterday morning. As well, some notable New Zealand earthquakes. 4.8, 5.0. as well a 5.8 here <clears throat> central mid-atlantic ridge and some notable earthquakes here too the 5.3 in iran and this 5.1 afghanistan and then a 4.0 Uh, that's not Alaska. A 4.7 here in Burma. And a 5.0 in Port Blair, India. So those are the earthquakes the last 48 hours. Let's look at the last seven days as we've had an increase in deep earthquakes around the world. Looking at five deep, six deep earthquakes in Fiji. Stay aware and prepared and have a plan, please, everybody. God bless humanity. And there's a reason why I didn't upload yesterday, and I was quite sad and mad with the events unfolding around the world. So God bless you for joining me today. Let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the latest disasters. Now, this is Tropical Storm Lakima. And as well, Tropical Storm Francisco. And then there is another one forming right behind it. And I think this one is going to be a newsmaker. Tropical Cyclone Eric is still alive after nine days. And as well, Tropical Depression Flossie. It was bringing some rain to Hawaiian Islands. Some heavy waves, flood warnings. And then there is another tropical storm. Following Flossie, this is a tropical cyclone Gill. So around the world, things have definitely ramped up when it comes to tropical storms. We have heat waves to talk about in western United States and as well central Canada. 
Things are going to cool down though drastically over the next few days as a large low pressure system comes from the north yet again. And that's what I've been noticing now this season is that the weather makers are coming from the north, not from the south or from the West Pacific as they normally do. Looking at the situation in Russia as well, a lot of forest fires still burning and possibly even new ones sparking up. But this is quite a scene from space, looking here at NASA Worldview. So many fires. Wow. And then NASA Worldview just showing here the tropical storms that are spinning. Very tightly whipped Francisco here. Another one. And this is Laquina. And as well, we have another one forming right behind it. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Overlooking North America, you can see large low pressure system spinning over the Hudson Bay. That thing came straight from the north. So watch for a cool down from Canada straight across the eastern seaboard as that low pressure system comes down. There's even snow falling in parts of Northwest Territories right now. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong low moving straight across the Atlantic into Western Europe. And watch this tightly whipped low to go through parts of Ireland later in the week. Still a large low pressure system spinning over Russia. And then our situation here, the monsoon drenched India, Myanmar, Nepal, and all Southeast Asia, dealing with extreme weather events almost every day. Watching over Pakistan, this large low pressure system that just keeps spinning across that could form later in the week. So here, five day forecast showing one tropical storm heading to Shanghai, one tropical storm heading to Korea, and then we have another typhoon forming right behind it. You can see here, it could be a big one. So stay aware and prepared. Japan, it looks like it's heading right for you. Australia, they're finally gonna get some weather. The southeastern parts anyway, as low pressure system is gonna be bringing a lot of rain and high winds across Tasmania and southeastern Australia. Even heavy snowfall amounts in higher elevations. Overlooking South America, watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout these regions as that dominant high pressure and low pressure crash into Argentina. And no storms to talk about in the Atlantic Ocean. Nothing is forming. So that's a good thing. So stay aware and prepared. Much love to all of you. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world. As we like to stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.